Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Thursday, June the 23rd, 2016. And as you can see here, a chart of the US dollar index getting destroyed, hitting a low of 93.02 before intervention took place and got the market as high as 93.60 before pulling back to 93.38. Once again, divine intervention comes into play and this market is not going to stop in that direction. They let it go, but so far to the downside before rescuing. Another thing should be noted today is as the dollar got destroyed today, and as you see here with the Bitcoin, same thing, look, at the, look how low we got today. Uh, getting down to the almost 550 handle, quite a beating, an incredible act of price destruction. Uh, as you can see, we started here, then they brought it back to here. Just, just incredible uh, market manipulation, bringing down the cryptocurrency, bringing down the U.S. dollar index, while pumping liquidity into the U.S. stock market in a, in a major way and attacking everything that is contrary to the stock market. So you saw gold get destroyed today, silver getting uh, pressured down, weighed down, and then you saw Bitcoin hitting a new low, just incredible price destruction and a desperate attempt to prop up this stock market. So now the question you must ask yourself is, what do they know? Here's your US dollar at the moment of intervention. Same thing with the Bitcoin. At the moment of intervention, that's when it turned. Again, here's where it turned. Right at the moment of intervention. Same turning point, okay? Also, you know that the government is not your friend. So look at the chart of the S&P 500. Look at that, just total pumping in all into the close here look at that just taking off here in the last hour of trading just breaking above that 2100 level trying to sucker in as many people long as possible especially ahead of the brexit vote you only do that if you are absolutely sure of yourself that they're going to vote to stay now I'll tell you why the vested interest believes that and that's because they've been doing a lot of campaigning and fear-mongering saying that if you leave the if you leave the the euro it's going to be catastrophic tomorrow's going to be black friday instead of take back friday there'll be no profits for you to take back it's going to be catastrophic they're going to be bank interventions and holidays and everything negative that you can think of that's what they are telling everyone. They even so so much as to create it fake polls and all types of things and rigging of the polls and making it so that uh, if you if people traditionally use a uh, you know a cross to check things that the machines won't even read it and just <laughs> all types of shenanigans are taking place today in the UK in a desperate attempt to keep them in the euro that is what this is all about keeping them in the euro so that they can continue to have economic control over the European Union that's what this is about so they believe that there will be no Brexit they believe they've done enough fear-mongering and enough uh, shenanigans behind the scenes and poll rigging that it should be a guarantee and possibility of being able to vote to go to separate so they're pretty sure of themselves but as you and I know things always and can and will happen if there is a shock to the system and they do vote to leave and they're successful in doing that then you can expect the central banks to punish them monetarily by attacking the stock markets 
They would do that. There's nothing that there that is beneath them. So remember, the government is not your friend. They don't care about you. They're not going to tell you things to enrich your life. They want to hurt as many people as possible. So it, it it's almost as if they pump this thing up so they can crash it down on purpose on people's heads to force them into doing what they want to do. So we'll see about that. Now when you look at the oil on the other hand, as you can see, oil has done something altogether differently. Looking at what we have for today, we started off here and then the market just gradually kind of allowed itself to drift higher and closing higher on the day. So it's maintaining that $50 handle right now. Overbought and trying to lock itself in. This is going to be one to watch as well. Because a strong oil and a strong dollar is devastating economically speaking for the United States. So we'll see how they manage to continue this, uh, this juggling act and from what we're seeing it's looking like they're losing control of it it's not going to be able to continue much longer so looking now at gold you see they beat that down today stead steadily declining here not allowing it to go any higher the fact that it's not collapsing though is showing some resilience so the precious metal uh, pimperation looks like it could be losing its pimp hand here. It could be getting very weak. And if they can't suppress the price of the metals anymore, where does that leave everything else? And that's going to be interesting to see metals rally with the stock market. Very interesting, uh, to, to say the least. Now, silver has been maintaining. It's not going any lower which is really interesting because they've been able to push the gold around but they're, they're not able to push the silver around anymore and it's just it's locked into this cool cloud consolidating not doing anything very interesting on the silver looking at GLD a little bit stronger here in the GLD than with the gold futures very interesting and you see some uh, some some bids coming back into the market going into the close today very interesting can it break through the 120 80 handle that's going to be interesting looking at slv slv is also looking like it's strengthening a little bit um, again maintaining all day long here but strong nonetheless and entering into the Kumo cloud. Can it break 1650? It's gonna be interesting. Can it can it do it? And can it get to the 17 back to the 17 handle? Uh, volume going into the close here too. Look at that. Very telling. Very interesting how these markets are positioning themselves ahead of this whole Brexit vote. Um, so you know it, everything's yet to be seen. The fear mongering though has just been hilarious. I would not put any stock in it. I would never anticipate them telling you which way they're going to vote or what they're going to do ahead of time in any way, shape, or form. Their job is to hurt as many people as possible. That's what the markets do. So since everyone is betting that they're going to stay, and that's what the bookies are saying too, you can count on one hand how many times people have been right and it's very very slim reason being the powers that be the elites they don't want to lose control and they want to punish as many people as possible so if you think you're riding their coattails that's when they throw you a curveball so because people have been wanting to position themselves and buy gold and silver they've been suppressing that price then the dollar is getting weaker interest rates are still at zero and yet the stock market is hitting new highs so it's really throwing people for a loop as to what's happening what's going on and why is it happening and all I can tell you is follow the money 
and you won't go wrong. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can, give nothing back, and if you're not trading with the pulse waves, what are you doing with your life? Peace.